Hello everybody, Brian here with Blackburn in Tech. And today, let's cover the magic world of portals. And yes, I'm talking about Network Address Translation, or NAT for short. We use this every single day and it's what helps our networks stay going strong and secure. So let's jump in and find out how. Oh, it's Blackburn in Tech, we're leveling up. From networking paths to systems we trust. Let's break it down, let's build it back. Together we're learning. Right on track. All right, welcome back, everybody. So on the screen is the official definition from Wikipedia on what network address translation is. And it's technically right, but I think it's a little too technical. So let's go ahead and break it down a little bit more. So this is SourceNet, and this is the most common one that people think of when they think of network address translation. And I think it is your exit pass. And I'm not going to go through and read all this to you. But essentially, I have this host here and I want to get out to say youtube.com so that way I can subscribe to Blackburn and Tech, for example. So I'm on this 10 dot network, which is a private address. So I'm going to send that packet over to my router and my router knows it can't route that on the internet. Or if it doesn't know it, then that packet's going to get dropped because by the time it gets to the internet, it's just going to drop it anyway. So it knows if I want to route this out, I need to use my public IP address. So there's one way to do it. You could map just a single device to that public IP address, but more commonly you use what is known as port address translation. And that's where it keeps track of like the source port of each device. So the way when you send a packet to it, it knows, okay, well this one goes comes to here. So what it does is it, instead of your public IP address or your private address here, it puts its public address and then it forwards it to that server. And then when the server responds back to it, it's looking at it going, uh, well, I didn't request this, but then it also checks that it's NAT table and he goes, oh, well, this is the source port of this. So, okay, well, this was for me. This is for the other host. So let me translate this back and then I will send it to this host. This is in basics. This is how network address translation sourcing goes, think of it as you want to get out and communicate, but you have to have a public address, but how do you do it without buying a public address for everything? And this is the most common way when people think of network address translation, a lot of people are pretty good about this one. The next one is not so much that a lot of people struggle with that one. So destination that it, it sounds a little confusing, but Think about where the traffic's coming from. If I'm out on the internet and I want to go to a web server, maybe YouTube or something like that, I'm coming in and I'm going in on a particular port, right? So maybe I am loading up Blackburn and Tech on the web page or something. And so I send this request in for 443 and it hits this router, right? And it makes that request on 443 and then it jots down your source port and your destination port and all the information there. But it knows I'm not the one who actually does anything with this. This is actually goes to the web server over here. So I'm going to translate you into our internal network, and then I'm going to send it over to the server itself. And this is what is known as destination NAT. And then when it goes back out, it sees it already had a translation for your public IP address and and then it will go back and repeat the cycle of source natting. And so this is where you get into that, is that it will translate your inbound requests. Think of it as, like I said, a VIP entrance. You have traffic that's coming into you. So maybe you're hosting a game server, or it doesn't matter what it is you're hosting, but you're hosting something internally, but you want to share it externally. That's how destination that works. And to recap... Well, I was going to wrap this, but I'm pretty sure you guys didn't want to hear me rap, and I'm not really good at it, so I figured you guys don't want to deal with that either. All right, so think of SourceNet as I want to mask myself going out of the network. Maybe I have restrictions where I can't go out, and I need to translate myself so that way I can do it. Destination Net is bringing something from the outside in and going to the appropriate device. And one of the hard parts is trying to figure out the perspective of it. So like each vendor has their own way of wording it. Like um, Cisco has 
words like inside local and outside global, just think of where you are and what you're seeing in that perspective of it. So like outside global would be out from the public side of it. And the inside local would be from the inside perspective of that network. Um, but these are the most two common types in that. There is a couple more. Um, there you have, like I said, you have more like one-to-one -one NATs and stuff like that. But 98% of the time, you're doing what is known as port address translation. And with it all working together, it makes the whole network a little more secure and more stable and gives us a little better overall usability because we all do, we can't afford every device to have a public IP address. And this is what allows us to do that. And if you like this breakdown of NAT and uh, the descriptions I used for this one, or if you need a little more help, if you wouldn't mind, go ahead and click the subscribe button and click the like button. It helps the channel and also helps me. And if you didn't like it, that's perfectly understandable too. If you wouldn't mind, go ahead and hit the f thumbs down. And if you want, drop a comment telling me what we could do better to make it more entertaining and more beneficial for you. It definitely helps me and helps the channel know how we can improve to be better for the community. And until next time, thank you for your time and network safely and keep those packets flowing.